Uh, major hotels here in Singapore are reporting a spike in booking inquiries from China, exceeding even pre-pandemic figures. But some say actual bookings have been slow, with travellers adopting a wait-and-see attitude before committing. Still, at least one hotel is ramping up hiring and training to prepare for the anticipated influx of Chinese travellers. For too long, hotel rooms like this one have sat empty and without visitors. But with China's borders now open, hotels can't wait to fill them all. But expectations of a sudden surge in bookings have yet to materialise. Chinese tourists say they are hesitant to commit due to lingering uncertainties. Singapore, 这个签证下来了之后，酒店也订完了，会不会新加坡这个拒绝中国公民入境？这些可能都是他们要考虑的呃这个情况。Mr. Zhao, who used to run his own tour agency in China, says China's Culture and Tourism Ministry has given no indication whether Chinese tour groups can organise outbound trips to places like Singapore and Batam. That's making Chinese tourists worried about higher costs if policies change. Still, he says there's a lot of interest in visiting Singapore. This has translated into increased web traffic for about half a dozen hotels CNA spoke with, even though actual bookings aren't keeping pace. For China tourists, we are seeing a surge of visitors to our brand website. However, the real bookings are, is coming in at a slow pace currently. A lot of China tourists are still waiting, uh, adopting a wait and see uh, attitude. So uh, I think they are not really uh, making the bookings yet. The hotel expects it'll just be a matter of time before Chinese tourists return in droves and are preparing to handle the influx. We are always recruiting staff and also training our staff to make sure that we, when the demand comes back, we are ready for it. China closed its borders to nearly all travellers in March 2020, in the earlier days of the pandemic. This reopening marks the first time in nearly three years that tourists can finally resume travel into and out of the country.